So the purpose of this video is to demystify the Nimbus pump and to help with some common calls that you may get whilst holding the OSC pager. Um, so there are three core team members that help with the setting up and the running of the pump. So the first is the nurse. So the nurse is the, is the person who will set up the pump, program the pump and connect the pump to the patient. Um, your Nimbus tech support will provide the 24 hour technical support and you will be the um, point person for any pain control issues. And really your role is to identify the patients that may benefit from a regime change. And if you feel a patient may benefit from a regime change is to identify those patients to the OSC regional attending and to arrange a Bay 15 admission during working time hours. And if outside of working time hours, either access um, the ED for severe pain control issues or to come up with a bridging analgesial plan to get through to daytime services. So these are the main items that the, the nurse will use to set up the pump. So you have your machine with your, um, uh, your, pay, your information. The, the number for the tech support is to the bottom left and that's the one to highlight to the patient. We are using a bag of sodium chloride as our local anaesthetic today and we have our cassette to connect the local anaesthetic to our pump. The important thing to know is the nurse will give very detailed information to the patient um, and they will give information about how to hold the pump onto the patient, um, what to expect in terms of density of analgesia, um, not to wash around the dressing to keep that nice and dry and that the level of um, analgesia is going to be much less than the day of surgery so th the patient is well aware of that. So as you can see, the new model is light, um, it's small, and there's only a few buttons that we need to be aware of. Um, so in the top left, we have our LED. It will flash green if the pump is running. Um, and because for a battery saving mechanism that turns off after 10 minutes, we have our up and down buttons. We have our OK, which will OK any program changes. We have our info button that also works as a back button. We have our on off, um, and we have our run stop button which works as a pause and to silence alarms and this is the main button for the patient which is a blue bolus button so if they want any additional analgesia they'll then press that blue button. So this is our pump all set up, the nurses would have done this bit already so this is our local anaesthetic solution, sodium chloride for the purposes of this video. Um, it's inserted through a cassette and then we have our giving set which has a, a, a stop valve on this side and then this would connect to the patient's catheter. Go. Okay, so we're going to turn the pump on now. So that's our on off button here. So you can see there are two menu options. There's current therapy and new therapy. So we're going to go and choose the current therapy option. We'll press OK to select. Um, and then we'll go to resume infusion. And then you can see the option that's been chosen. So here we have a auto bolus one line catheter. We can see the infusion um, is repivacate 0.2%. There is no um, continuous infusion on it. We have 495 mils left to give. Um, the autobolus amount is 5 mils, 15 mils will be given every hour, our demand bolus volume is 5 mils and that can be given every 30 minutes and there's no delay and we would use a delay if there's two catheters and we would typically add a delay of 30 minutes so we don't get um, high peak volumes. And then OK to um, confirm the clinician code is 919. You can either go up and down for the numbers. And, and OK each number. OK, so at that point in time, we have confirmed our settings. And then we would press um, run stop to start the infusion. So in terms of troubleshooting the pump, there are a couple of things that we need to know as clinicians. So here is the green bu uh, button, sorry, the green LED 
that will um, flash for 10 minutes when the pump is running. It will flash red if there's an error and the error code will be written across the screen here. And then if you ask the patient, that can often help you um, to help the patient to troubleshoot the pump. If um, it is completely red, that means the pump is not working at all. If infusion is complete, it will also say inf infusion complete here. Um, the next button to know is the info button. So when the infusion is running, which is shown by this green light, you can press the info button and then go to shift total. So toggle down to shift total, OK to select. And then we can see that the pump has delivered five mils. There have been no um, demand bonuses attempted and no demand bonuses delivered. And then you can use back to go back. And then we can use that information to determine whether the patient is using the pump or what the issue is with regards to the type and pattern of the patient's pain.